Okay, next on our form, we're going to start adding in fields. So we're going to create a whole form um, of just adding fields. And so I'm going to click on my volunteer form, and I'm going to start with a header. To make a header, I want to use the free text field. And the text is actually what is displayed as the caption, and the name is um, how this is referenced in the database. So I'm going to just describe this as header. And we'll put header 1 in case we decide to add another later. But I'm going to call this volunteer form. And if I wanted to turn it bold, these can actually accept um, HTML tags. So I'm just including a bold HTML tag. Alright, so I'm going to save. That's going to be my top header. I'm going to keep on going and we're going to add a text box next. And we're going to call this full name. And I'm just going to copy and paste. So the name is what it's going to be in the column of submissions. The caption is what your users will actually see when they fill out this form. Going to click on save. And the next one's going to be a text box with validation. So I'm going to go to text box. And this one's going to be called email. And again, I'm just going to copy and paste. And under validations, I'm going to make this a required field. And I'm going to say it has to be an email, an email address. Okay, and with the validation message, this is what displays if an email address is not entered. So I'm going to I'm going to customize this to say, please include an email address. And I'm going to click save. Okay, and our next field is going to be a drop-down menu. And I'm going to call this one event. And let's uh, give this a nice caption. I would like to volunteer for. Now, to list each drop-down item, we're just going to list the item and then click uh, then click return. So I'm going to put 5K run. Uh, how about a film festival? Um, concert? Fireworks show? Cultural food fair? And the very last one I'm going to put as other. And this is important. I'm going to actually create another field called other that is going to link to this. And this will be our um, example of a conditional statement later on. So I'm going to save. And next I'm going to do a checkbox group. And we're going to name this one experience I have experience in the following areas and again we're just going to list some different areas we'll say alumni students Athletics, Campus Life, Academics, Arts. Human Resources. And I'm going to click Save. Oops. Let me go back. I have an extra enter there, so it put a check mark at the bottom. 
Okay, so here's my checkbox group. And next we're going to do a text area. So let's click on text area. And I'm going to name this one description. And as a catch, I'm going to say, please tell us about your past volunteer experiences. And I'm going to go over here to attributes, and this is actually how we control the size. So I'm going to make this one just a little bit bigger. We'll go up to, say, 60 columns, and maybe 10 rows. I'm going to click on Save. And I like to go up here and save my form every now and then. And if we want to preview and see what it looks like at this point, we can just click on Preview. And here's what our form looks like thus far. Alright, so let's keep going. I'm going to next do a Radio Group. So I'm going to select Radio Group. And let's see, we're going to say um, availability. I am available on it will say Fridays, Saturdays, and both. Oops, and I misspelled that. There. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to save this. And next we're going to do another text box. Now both of the upcoming text boxes are actually going to, later on, um, be used for a calculation. So let's go to text box again. I want to say Friday hours. And as the caption, how many hours are you available on Fridays? And I'm going to go over here to Attributes, and I'm going to take this down to a size of 4, so it's not a huge field to add numbers. And under Validations, I'm not going to make this required, but I am going to put in a validation rule of only numbers. So I'm going to, and I'm going to go ahead and add one extra character. We'll put the period in there in case somebody does 2.5 or something of that, some type of a decimal. So please use a numeric value. I'm going to save this. And just to save a little bit of time, I'm going to click that and then duplicate. Now that I have two Friday hours, I'm going to go down here and oops, change this. And we'll call this Saturday Hours. And I'll remove copy there. And we'll change this to Saturdays. Alright, so I'm going to save this. Alright, so we have our Friday Hours, our Saturday Hours, and we need a new one that's also going to be a text box. This one's going to be total hours. And hope this is total hours volunteer.
and again this you know I'm not going to leave this as a validated field because I'm actually going to change this one to read only And again, this needs to be a field size of four. And to make it read only, we have to do this. Type in read only equals, then in a quote, read, oops, read only. And I'm also going to give it a little bit of styling, so we're just going to gray it out a little bit. So style equals, and then a quote, background, dash color, and then a colon, gray. And I'm going to save. And we're going to add an upload field next. So I'm going to go to File Upload. And we're going to say, we'll call this one Volunteer Cred Credentials. And since it's the volunteer form, we'll just say Credentials is the field name. And I'm going to give it a, ca a caption of Please upload your volunteer credentials now I'm going to determine what file types are actually able to be uploaded so let's go for DOC DOCX uh, we'll go with PDF uh, NTXT All right, and once this file is uploaded, um, usually it's sent to our admin staff, and we are going to go in and enable the admin emails. So I'm going to say, whenever we receive this file, let's go ahead and attach this file to the admin email. And I'm going to click on Save. Okay, so there's our total hours volunteered and our volunteer credentials. The next thing we're going to add is a reCAPTCHA 2. Again, this is um, allowed to, or this is to prevent, say, a spam bot or somebody spamming us or creating a lot of false entries in our database. So we're going to click on reCAPTCHA v2. And I usually just call these reCAPTCHA 2. This one doesn't need a caption or a description. Just click on Save. And the very um, last thing we need, well, we need two more things. We're going to need a submit button in just a moment, and I'm going to go out and create one more field for the other field of our dropdown. See, right here we had the field other. And I'm going to create another field so that somebody can actually enter the event that they want to add or that they are interested in. So I'm going to go to text box. I'm going to call this other. You know, maybe I'll call it other event. That might be more descriptive. Let's go with that. So other event and save. And I'm going to go ahead and save my form. All right, and as you can see, it added it all the way to the bottom. And it used to be we could drag and drop these. Let's go ahead and we're going to create a submit button. So we can submit our form. I'm just going to call it submit. And the label is going to actually be submit. That's what is actually going to show on the button. 
I'm not going to provide a caption because we don't need a caption to explain a submit button. Then we're going to save. Okay, and I'm going to take and drag this up here. Right below my volunteer for. And I'm going to go correct that. Typo right there. <laughs> Okay, so that's all of my forms that I wanted to include on my form, and I'm going to go ahead and save this, and then I'll show you how to come back in, and we'll add some conditional statements and some calculations for our total field, as well as um, the conditional for this other field that we just stuck right here. Thank you.